a morning drive. You may have heard a lot about Aim Point lately, a method of reading the news employed by another top players, Lydia Ko, Ian Poulter, Stacey Lewis, Av Scott, Hunter Mahan as well. But during the Pure Silk Bahamas LPGA Classic, Lydia Ko sat down with our own Charlie Reimer, and she explained exactly how you use the Aim Point method. First thing, you know, we've got that putt, so let's say the putt goes left to right, so we'll go on, on the low side, and then from, we, I guess, divide the putt into thirds, and try and go on the slope with the most slope on the middle third, and then we just feel with our feet, and it's in percentages, so, you know, I do some practice with the, with the level, try and go 1%, 2%, 3%, and uh, you know that takes a lot of practice and I'm still not 100% on it uh, and then you just feel it with your feet you come back and when it's over over nine feet from me that's when I have to step like one yard further from the ball and then if I felt a two I go put it I put the right side of my finger right in the middle of the hole and then the left side is where you do where you aim and uh, you know, the arm length, it depends on the green speed. So this is a 9, 10, 11, 12. That's about it. Lydia Coe with the big timer earlier in the year in the Bahamas. Aim point, percentages, dividing. Hocus Pocus, what is behind this stuff, Travis? No, I think it's the real deal. Okay. Do I think it's for everybody? Probably not. But we're seeing tour players, you know, now adopt it. It's catching fire. And, you know, when you look at aim point, you know, what it allows the player to do is go through a series of things that's going to help them aim their putter at the right spot. And we talk a lot about speed, but when you can go through kind of a, a read and quantify why you're aiming the putter head, say, two inches to the right or three inches to the right, uh, then it can do a lot of good. And, you know, really there's four factors that go into this express read as we see it. You know, one, the length of the putt, of course, is important. Uh, but finding slope direction is key and, and utilizing your feet to find slope direction as we see these players standing you know kind of behind the ball and sensing it through their feet we see a lot of players pages we were talking about you know walking up to the midpoint or walking around to find slope direction but then interesting the third is really the severity of the slope and, and learning how to gauge severity whether it's one percent or two percent and that kind of gets into how many you know fingers that they're putting up and then finally, the, the, the stem. So, you know, you're getting into these four factors, major factors that affect where you're going to aim the putter head. And it takes a little time to learn it. But what I've found in, in teaching my players is that the ones that, you know, learn those four things and then start to really get in and, and practice it, it kind of becomes their own. They can calibrate it to themselves. And from there, they start to quantify why they're aiming the putter head where they're aiming and they're making more putts. I you played at the highest level, Paige. Do, do you like this? Have you had any experience with aim point? I, I think for a professional golfer, somebody that that's their job to know how to do it, then that's fine. You heard Lydia Ko even say how much time it takes for her to practice it. She's the number one player in the world. But I think for the average amateur, it may be overwhelming if you don't have the time. But I think the key there is those four things. And as an avid amateur, you can still learn and take those keys and put them into practice without having to go through the entire method. When you talk about using your feet, use your feet. I don't, I don't straddle the line, mm -hmm. but I definitely use my feet when I'm standing over a putt. And I try to go halfway through and feel the slope. Am I more t toe heavy, heel heavy? Get that slope. The other thing is when you have to get the percentage of slope in the green, you have to take into account the macro dynamics of the green. So as an avid amateur, you can look. Where's the high point of the green? Where's the low point of the green? Those types of things are important whether you use Aimpoint Express or not. And I think that's what's great about this is it really narrows down these four particular things that every golfer should be using in their putting. You often hear the term, a miss on the amateur side, a miss is on the low.